about my topic is having a positive mental attitude throughout any and every obstacle you face in life. No matter what it is. It could be the death of a, a family member, a loved one, uh, losing your job, losing your girlfriend. Always keep a positive mental attitude. And this comes from one of my mentors, Dr. Napoleon Hill. And he drove home to people that when you have a positive mental attitude, you can achieve whatever, no matter how many failures, no matter how bad your life is, or how bad you think your life is, when we have a positive mental attitude, it can go a long way. I was talking to one of my mentees yesterday about it, and you know, he was saying that he'll never get this done, he'll never be able to get that done. I said, guess what? You have just defeated yourself because you didn't keep a positive mental attitude. And when you do that, you tie one hand behind your back. You cripple yourself from ever being able to do it. So if you keep a positive mental attitude and say, hey, this is nothing. I can get this done. I'll, I'll knock that out a couple, couple minutes. Then you'll talk yourself into doing it. You're empowering your own self. Positive mental attitude when I first started this business venture no money no guidance I had knowledge I had a lot of wisdom from the people that I've been studying and for an average person they would have given up a long time ago because you don't see the, the ROI the return on investment I mean investment, the investment of time. It's basically what I'm giving. But I'm choosing to keep a positive mental attitude through it all because I know eventually I'll get there. I've been promised that by God and Napoleon Hill and Tony Robbins and all of the other guys that I've been studying. They say if you continue to keep a positive mental attitude through everything, you will be successful no matter how many times you fail. And that's just a fact. So, I thought this was an appropriate message to deliver on this Friday. I want everybody to go into the weekend with a positive mental attitude. Keep on thinking about take the little little bitty uh, takeaways you can, you can have out of any situation. You know, if, if, if you're dealing with somebody who's just a negative person, say, yeah, well, you know what? They may be negative, but they're really nice. Or they can dress good. Or they're a great mom. Or they're a great dad. Or, you know, he really works hard. You know, that's the little takeaways. Find the positive. But that's the thing about me. And I've, this has always been me. This is why I've been able to work with the youth that I've worked with for so long is I, when I, when I get a kid, when I get a kid assigned to me, I always try to see the good in that youth, no matter what it is, no matter how small it is, no matter how disheartening his situation is, I try to pull a little bit of good out of him and keep a positive mental attitude about that. Napoleon Hill said that whatever you want to achieve in life, you have to start with the positive mental attitude. Because if you don't, you will not be successful. Hey, everybody. Welcome to my ride. So whenever you're thinking about what you don't have in life, what you can't achieve, how you're behind everybody else as far as education-wise, skills-wise, finance-wise. None of that matters. It doesn't. I was listening to uh, Andy Frisella, Frisella from First Form, runs one of the most 
the most uh, world-renowned supplement industries, and he talks about how people who don't have anything in life, they don't have any, they don't have the resources, they don't have the necessary skill sets to do something or achieve some kind of goal that they have, but if they kept a positive mental attitude and never gave up, it makes you hungry. It makes you more dangerous than the people who do have the resources because they're not hungry anymore. They get relaxed. And that you can see that all throughout sports, the sports world, the music industry. The people who come in that are scrappy, that are hungry, that are fierce, they're the ones who end up being the most successful and being the underdog the success story it's like where did he come from like because he stayed hungry and he kept a positive mental attitude he knew that he was going to fail but failure led him to ultimate victory and you have to stay hungry you can't get complacent you can't you can't let success you know how they say people let success go to their head you have to stay hungry like you see these these uh music artists that get into the game and their very first album was like amazing and then all of a sudden they're like eh I don't have to be hungry anymore because I'm already in the door no stay hungry but it all starts like Napoleon Hill says with the positive mental attitude you have to know that you'll be successful in whatever you do and that's basically just the law of attraction that's what the law of attraction states is you attract what you think, what you constantly think is going to manifest into your world, good or bad, negative or positive, planting the positive seeds, the ones that are fruitful. So that's it. Head into this weekend with a positive mental attitude. No that anything that you want in life will be obtained. It's just going to take time. It always takes time. But as human beings, we want instant gratification. And that's not that's just not how it works. You can't, you know, people that pray every day, they pray for a miracle. They pray for happiness. They pray for anything their heart desires. But guess what prayer is? It's a form of meditation. When you meditate, you stew on things. You, it's your think tank. And your mind will attract whatever you want. It just takes time. Keep the positive thoughts flowing. Keep the good vibes going. I love y'all. Happy Friday. Mm -hmm.